All right, so today I got my most comprehensive leaderboard yet. I got points, I got kills, headshots, and deaths. So the points, if you shoot somebody but don't kill them, you still might want to get points, right? Like this guy right here. <laughs> Boom, if you hear the double shot, it's because I got the test server running on another screen for this guy here. Simtech Gamer 7 Player 2. And let's go ahead and see if we could get a headshot here. <laughs> oh, Bummer. So I got a lot of points for that. I got a credit for a kill. I got a credit for a headshot. And he got a death. All right. We got a zombie going around on the other side. I don't know what's happening with him. Let's go ahead and shoot him. No headshot, though. Yeah. So I got a kill, but I didn't get a headshot for him. So if you'll notice, I have accessories on these players. And the headshot is not getting blocked by the accessory. So I'm going to give you the code for that too. A lot of people try to do headshots. They don't understand why it's not going through. It's the accessory. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So if you want to follow along exactly, I am going to put a link in the description for my simple pistol. It's good to start out on something simple and then transfer it to more complicated weapons once you kind of understand it. So I'll put this link in the description. You click on it. This is an alt of mine. I'm actually Simtech Gamer 7. And then I did the get model, got it in my game, so I know we could still get it. I know that Roblox didn't moderate it for some weird reason. And I gave myself a thumbs up. Bruh. All right, cool. So go ahead and get your weapon. Then when you go over to Roblox Studio, right there, you will have a fresh world. I would recommend doing this in a fresh world first. Come to your home, toolbox, inventory. You should have pistol, simple gun. That's what I called it. I'll drag that out into the workspace. Yup, there's two scripts. There's a client script for the activate, and then there's a damage script, server side stuff. So we'll say, okay, close this window. And we might as well put this in our starter pack. Let's do that first. Cool. Let's go over to our Explorer window and we'll go to server script service, hit the plus. We're going to need a script so that we can have our leaderboard and we're going to need something to exclude the accessories from players and NPCs. Let's go ahead and change the script name to something like game manager. That makes sense. And I am actually going to put the code for excluding accessories in the description. Go ahead and look for it. It's going to look like this. Control B. Look for this, right? Exclude code for a game manager for excluding accessories. That way, like hair or a hat doesn't block your headshot, right? And this is the exclude accessory for the part if the part has an accessory attached to it. And I do that in the player added event that I connect to right down here when the characters are loaded then we'll exclude the accessories from all the parts if they have an accessory and then this is for npcs right here down at the bottom so we could put a little note here this will be in the description i'll just go ahead and add a note for npc accessories how do i spell accessories like this right accessories there we go so now you're good to go there we can put our leaderboard in here too, right? So we're going to need a function for the leaderboard. And I'll add this piece by piece. Let's do a local function add board, pass in the player. We'll do a local board instance.new. And this could be a folder or a model. Player is going to be the parent. And we need to name the board, board.name equals leader stats. And it must be spelled leader stats just like that. All right, let's start out with points, right? We'll get instant new. And this is going to be an int value, one, two, three, four. Those are integers. And then the parent of the points is going to be the board. Right. And then we'll say points.name. This is what's going to show up on the leaderboard. So I'll make it caps, right? Points. All right, this needs to be called for each player entering the game. Do a control C to copy that add board of the player. Oh, look at this. 
we have a player added event connected to this function. Voila. We'll just add it right here. Add board. Let's play it. See if we get points on our leaderboard. We're not actually going to get points yet, but we'll need the leaderboard. Here it is. Points. Cool beans. All right. Let's work on our pistol now so that we can update the points on the leaderboard when we hit stuff. Now we have to go ahead and modify our weapon. Let's go down to starter pack. That's where our weapon is. And we got our pistol. We're going to look at the damage script, the server script. Let's open that up. And right here on shoot, we check to see if there's a target. Target has a parent. Check to see if there's a humanoid associated with the target. And then we'll do a take damage. Let's do another check. We don't only want the humanoid to exist. We also, if it does exist, we want humanoid and hum dot health is greater than zero. All right, and then we could do the damage. We also need to add points to the player. Well, that's the player shooting whatever we're shooting, zombie, NPC. We're not going to use the creator tag, which is the most popular method of getting points for uh, getting credit for kills, we are going to have to update the leaderboard directly. So I'm going to get the player and then the player is going to have the leader stats. Leader stats is going to have something like points, points as the value. We will plus equals, which takes the old value and adds whatever you want for points. Let's say 10 points. All right, so when we shoot somebody, we're going to increase our points by 10. Let's go over to our base plate. We'll go ahead and add an avatar, rig builder. Here we go. And we'll just add them to the world. We can also check to make sure that this hair is getting excluded too. Let's hit the play. We're going to try to shoot our rig. See if we get some points. And let's take a look at the view output window. Cool. Got 10 points. Didn't get any errors. Let's shoot him somewhere else. Let's shoot him in like a leg. Bruh, he shot me in the leg. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's add to that. Go ahead and turn our game off. Off. We'll go back to the damage script. We can get rid of this for now. And we want... Let's see what else we want. We want kills and we want headshots. Well, we only have points on our leader stats. Let's go to our game manager. I have it open here. If you don't, it's if you don't have it, it's under server script service, game manager. Let's go back up to our leaderboard. And we can go ahead and copy this points. Control C, Control V, Control V. I'm going to make this one kills. All right, now we go kills. That's kills. Cool. And that's an in value also. We're going to need headshots. So we'll say something like headshot. This looks good. We'll put a space in this one. How about head shots? All right, maybe put an S on that too. And this right here should go there. All right, so now we got kills, headshots, and points. We could add deaths too. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's say a local deaths equal instance.new int value. Board is going to be the parent. And we'll just do deaths.name equals deaths. Let's see what we have when we go ahead and play it. We don't want any errors, so hit the play. View, output, I don't see any errors. Look at that. Points, kills, headshots, deaths. Cool. Let's hook all those up. It's going to be pretty easy. So we'll go to damage right here. Let's go ahead and close this window so we have some more room. I'm actually going to put some if statements. Might as well start here. Let's do an if target dot name equals equals head then that'll work we'll go ahead and get let's get this stuff right here 
Control X, Control V to paste it. And for a headshot, let's give him a lot of points. Let's give him like 100 points for a headshot. And then damage, I'm gonna give him a lot of damage. Say like 100, make it a kill, right? Headshots are kill shots. We also have to increase the headshot count on the leaderboard. Let's go down here, we'll do a player, leader stats, and then I have a space in the name for headshot. So we can't use the dot notation, we have to use the bracket notation. So do the square brackets, and then you can do the quotes. I'll do headshots. Oh, I just have headshot. Let's check that. Make sure there's not an S in there. Let's go back to Game Manager. Oh no, I have headshots with an S. Oh, I know why that's complaining. New Roblox update. It's complaining because we have to do the dot value plus equals one. So we're gonna increase headshots by one. We got one headshot. Points are gonna be a lot though. Cool, so we get a headshot or we don't get a headshot. Let's put an else statement right here, else. And we can just go ahead and copy all this, control C, control V, and if we don't get a headshot, let's give them like 10 points, right? And then we're not gonna give them credit for a headshot. Cool, but one more thing can happen, right? We could have killed the player. Here we're making sure, or the or NPC, we're making sure that they're alive, but checking to make sure the health is greater than zero. But if we get down here, hume.health, we cause that death with this shot. So we'll say health less than or equal to zero, because sometimes the health can go a little bit less than zero, round off error, stuff like that. So we'll get our player dot leader stats and we could do a kills dot value plus equals one so we're going to credit a kill and then we give points for that too right maybe just copy this save some time control v this is going to be points how much points should we give for a kill i don't know maybe like 50 maybe we should do like 50 for headshot 50 for kill I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and try this out. And I wanna put, let's see, we have this guy in here. We might have to try the test server. Let's go ahead and play it though. I think it's gonna work. All right, we are in the game. Pull out our pistol, view, output. Let's try a headshot. Boom, one shot kill. Got 150 points, 100 for the headshot, 50 for the kill. We got credit to kill, and we got this headshot equals one right now. We just have to uh, put our deaths in. If we get killed, we're not gonna get credit right now. That's all right. Let's turn this off and fix that. So we're not gonna do anything with a weapon on that one. We're gonna go to the game manager or server script service game manager. Let's go ahead and close that window Let's go down here where we're adding our, we're getting our character added event. In our character appearance loaded, while well, we have a character available, let's take advantage of that. Let's go ahead right underneath our char.descendant added event that gets connected. We'll do a local hume equals char colon wait for child humanoid get the humanoid and then we'll get the humanoid died event connect that to a function we'll make it an anonymous function a function with no name then we'll get our player dot leader stats leader stats dot deaths dot value plus equals one. So if the humanoid fires the died event, we are going to increase our leader stats deaths by one. Cool, let's try it out. Let's go play. 
And we'll go ahead and kill ourselves. Reset character. <coughs> Boom. Look at that. That's sequel one. Cool beans. All right. So you could try this on a test server. I've, I've tried it pretty rigorously. Um, see if you get credit for kills for players, for the body shots. This should be like 10, right? Pistol. Ooh, I got like 60 for that one. I got a kill. Oh, I wonder what my damage was. What's my what's my damage on that? 20. Oh, look at that. I didn't reduce that damage. Let's go ahead and change that. On shoot, you might want to make the body shots a little bit less powerful. How about 10? 10 points. 10 points of damage. There we go. Let's try that again. I'll pause the video while it's starting up. There he is. Yeah, there we go. So it only hurt him a little bit. And we got 10 points. And we got one kill. Pretty cool. All right, I will see you in the next video. Uh, good luck with that one.